Brian, just if you can talk about if you think maybe considering the score line, you guys are going to have to go after it. They're going to have to go after it. Just do you think maybe they'll play a different way than they played down in Honduras, or are you expecting more of the same thing? Uh, <clears throat> I don't expect them to change. I mean, they want to win the game. It's important competition for them. They rested a bunch of starters on the weekend. So, you know, I think both teams understand the circumstance, the opportunity. So, you know, I think they'll still come and press. It's part of their DNA. Their coach said it in an interview, you know, part of who they are is the passion that they play with. So we're expecting a similar match. Jeremiah Oshan. Yeah, how would you describe the emotions that uh, or the attitude that you and the players are sort of going into this with? Uh, Steph said, called it an opportunity, and he seemed very much to be relishing the possibility of, of uh, chasing history. Well, eventually, Jeremiah <clears throat> and MLS team has to, you know, win this tournament. Uh, we the Sounders, our mantra has always been, we want to try and, you know, be successful and win every tournament competition that we enter. So yeah, there's a lot riding on this as always. I wouldn't say we're putting any added pressure on ourselves, but it's certainly not pleasant. We learned that lesson two years ago, not pleasant going out early in a big competition like this. So you know, we, we're going to do what we always do at the Sounders. We're going to try and go and play good football, play good soccer, try and attack, try and score, and proceed into the next round. And then on Sunday, when it comes to Nashville, we're going to do the same thing, you know, regardless of who steps on the field for either game. Jose Armando Rodriguez. Um, thank you, Coach. I wanted to ask you about you know the backline from Ottawa. All of the, the their starters have been at some point in the last few months in the national team and starting in the national team. Has this been a talking point? And what have you seen from them um, in in your analysis during the game you faced in the previous videos that you might have been able to watch? Thank you. Well, they were <clears throat> they were very good defensively, very sound. I mean, we had a very good chance with Albert Rusnak in the first half. I think Jordan had a good chance in the second half, but they made things difficult for us. There, there's good players down there that are playing for Matagua. Um, what we are going to try and do, though, is try and be a little bit more goal dangerous. Uh, yes, you can credit your opponent. Uh, the field was a little heavy. We're going to be at home. We're going to have fans in the building. There'll be a different energy. And we hope that some of those things will allow us to score a goal or multiple goals And then we have to do a good job defensively as well because they have some good attacking players as well. We'll go back to Jeremiah Shen. <clears throat> yeah, uh, any, uh, I know you've been providing updates throughout the week, but any updates you can give us on, on health, uh, specifically guys like uh, Leva, Jao Paulo, uh, Madranda, Nuhu, guys that didn't play the last game or didn't start the last game. <clears throat> yeah, new who's 100%, JP is 100% available for selection. Dan Leva is 100% available for selection. Jimmy Madranda is not. Last question with Carlos Castellanos. Muy buenas tardes, uh, mister. Eh, buenas tardes. ¿Qué, ¿Qué peligrosidad sienten que pueden tener frente al Motagua? rival con el que empataron a cero, pero un resultado con goles los podría dejar a ustedes fuera de la competencia. Saludos, gracias. How dangerous you think Motagua will be for you guys, uh, taking into account that just one goal? Uh, well, they almost scored in the first, you know, 10 minutes of the game on a set piece. They're very dangerous on set pieces. Uh, I thought their direct play caused us some problems. Uh, in the first half, I think we made some adjustments in the second half where we were, you know, a little bit more prepared uh, for that. I think we were able to control parts of the game in the second half, but they are a very athletic, tall, you know, physical team. And I'm sure they're going to 
cause us some problems. It just, you know, again, it comes back to there'll be momentum for one team, momentum for another. And I hope that our quality when we have the momentum can get us a goal.